Talk Floor TV. I am in Kansas City. I am at Weber's Flooring Joe's Carpet Outlet. I am with Bob Bale, who is the manager of this location. And Bob, I'm, I'm really pleased to be here and be able to talk with you. I appreciate it. I'm glad to talk to you. This, you gave me the Cook's Tour here just, just a minute ago. This is quite an operation. Talk about the size and give us a little history of this, if you will. Well, Weber started, Mark Weber started the business back in 1976, and the business continued to grow since then. Um, and then shortly thereafter, uh, we started the Joe's Carpet Operations, which was a cash and carry business. And now we're to this, the now we're to the uh, status of where we took the Joe's and the Weber carpet, blended them together, and put them all under one operation. The Joe's operation, the idea was a lot of inventory, cash and carry. Here it comes. I mean, here it is. Um, uh, bring your own installer, and, and thank you very much for your business. Um, with Weber, it's always been full service. So now we've blended the two operations together, so we offer tremendous value, great selection, and full service. So somebody comes in, they want cash and carry, they want to do the installation themselves, you take them in the warehouse? Uh, we'll actually, we have uh, displays, A-frames, where we show all the things we stock. So uh, we, we can take them into the warehouse. We have uh, our three warehouses we have in within uh, Kansas City. Uh, a lot of times they'll take them out in the warehouse and show them the goods. Luckily here we have nice air-conditioned facilities and they can uh, look at what we have in stock here. But you are the big player here in Kansas City. Yes, we are. I see. How did you personally get, get into business? I grew up in a business. I started, uh, my dad had a couple stores and uh, I'd kind of work in a store and I didn't know any better so when everybody got busy I'd jump up and help somebody and I was probably 10 or 11 when I first tried to sell somebody. Interesting. So you were born in this thing and uh, you know the rest is history I guess. That's correct. How would you describe your typical customer? I'm sure it must go from soup to nuts. With the yeah there is no typical customer because we'll get the customer that's coming in looking for a remnant for one room Somebody coming into maybe a project want to come in and buy a bunch of ceramic tile or laminate or luxury vinyl tile. Uh, and then we also get the customer that wants us to come in and uh, top to bottom, maybe go in and do the flooring, the granite, uh, hardwood floors, uh, the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. But you do, you have retail, you have designer, you have builder. Yes. You really and, and we have wholesale. And, oh, and a wholesale operation. Right. We even uh, sell to... Uh, other retailers. Okay, so you cover the waterfront. Mm -hmm. I see. Looking at the retail side, what series of events would you say takes place prior to somebody walking through your door here? Series of events. Um, I mean, how do they discover you? And I guess you answered part of that before by being around for so many years. Everybody is, you know, aware of you. Well, years ago, we used to do retail, I, I would say, by accident. Um, we focused on the builder market. Um, probably 90% of what we did was builder. Then, actually, before the downturn in the economy, we thought, well, you know, this is good, but why not? We have the facilities. Why not go after retail? So we started changing our, our business model. Um, and anyway, so you asked start to finish how it works. People either find us because we've worked with them in the past we have a strong internet presence, um, and we also have a pretty good marketing budget also. I see. I guess one of the reasons I asked that question is, we've been talking a lot about millennials of late. Now, I'm probably not a tremendously large portion of flooring business mm -hmm. at this point, depending, of course, on where you are. But they're totally different than boomers in terms of their habits. They don't watch as much TV. And they're pretty much ruled by internet. Correct. And you had mentioned you have a, a good and a big internet presence. We do, and we're actually, we've, we've hired a gentleman that's helping us. We thought we had a good site. He's revamping it. Uh, just like our business, we're having to change that all the time to keep up. Well, and I guess the thing about millennials, they seem to do everything on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't even like to go into a store 
according to some of the surveys that I've seen. And so that just notches up your presence on the internet a whole lot more. If they don't see what they want and see it quickly, they click and go someplace else. Correct. What are the what things have you done to your site recently to jack it up? Well, it's not just a site, it's the personnel we have also behind the scenes. Okay. We we post to Facebook, we talk about different offers, we talk about just maybe informational things like correct vacuums to use, things like that. So it's not always just trying to sell something to the customer, but having something on there so they go to it and look for us for information as well as deals and things that we have. Um, and then I am obviously not a millennial, and so we have this in good hands right now. I don't know everything they are doing right now as far as changing it, but I know we're, we're talking about you know, working more on Twitter and and Facebook's you know been around for actually a while. It's probably old school now to the millennials. But um, there's a lot of things that we're doing that I'm not savvy to because I haven't dealt with it. I'm not a millennial. Yeah, I see. I see. Well, that's where it's going, I guess, and it's good that you're aligning in that area because more and more that's going to be the thing that is going to connect Correct. with your with your customers. Consumer behavior, you've sold a lot of floor coverings over, over your, your career. You've seen, you've seen needs change, you've seen the approach of, of a consumer change. Talk about that. How are consumers different, say, today than they were 10, 15 years ago? Well, as you mentioned, now they can go online. Sometimes they come in, they're already knowledgeable or think they're knowledgeable about what they're looking for because they've already researched it. Um, they'll come in and for carpeting and they'll say, well, I want a nylon or if they want ceramic, well, I want a porcelain. And then it's up to us to explain, you know, maybe in your situation, nylon's good, but maybe you want this polyester because you're concerned stains or sun fastness or, or uh, you know, uh, moisture ceramics now, or, uh, a regular ceramic tile, the absorption rate's very close to what a uh, porcelain is. You really aren't necessarily going to go wrong going with a ceramic tile. So it's up to us to, to educate them. So when they come in, they've spent some time on the internet, they've gotten a little bit of an education. Do you find that that's almost a detriment? I mean, do you have to straighten them out when they come in because the information they have isn't necessarily correct? Uh, not straighten them out because if you try to straighten them out, they're going to think you're contradicting them. Yeah. And it could be a husband that spent time and he's proud that he went through and researched it. You don't want to do that. Bad but words. Yeah, you want yeah. to just maybe mold it a little bit. Uh -huh. um, you know, the I think the most important thing we do, you have the box stores you compete against, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, and some others. Um, if you go out there and you're selling just on price, you're going to sell just on price and you're not going to make any money and your business isn't going to be profitable. You have to bring up the things that you have that the others don't. And for us, I, I took you on a tour a little bit and showed you what we do. You know, we do the pre-seaming before we take the carpets out in the job, which has several advantages. We have our lifetime installation warranty on not just carpet, but carpet, vinyl flooring, LVT, ceramic tile, hardwood, so on and so on. Um, we push those things um, because, again, it sets us apart from everybody else. The things that you say you push, are those on your internet site? Yes. And those are important. Well, I suppose somebody goes into a big box store, that's, they're devoid of a lot of that. They don't hear that. The people that are helping them probably don't know it themselves. And if they do, I mean, you can't just say you have something without explaining why it's good or, or, or the aspects of it, or the, as I put it, the teeth of it. Um, you know, uh, I encourage my salespeople, when you tell me you have a lifetime installation warranty, uh, the longest we've had to go back is 13 and a half years to fix something. We went out, we stretched the carpet, moved all the furniture, didn't charge the customer a dime. I want them to go into detail when they talk to the customer about what we have, about what we did to pursue that and correct the situation. Because that really separates you from from the competitor. Mm -hmm. Sure does. Talk about the competition. How's that changed? How is it different now than it was before the recession? Would you say? Um, 
Well, actually, there were more people around before the recession. I mean, everybody who installed thought they could be a retailer, or everybody that uh, poured a driveway thought they could be a builder. Um, I mean, that's changed. You have fewer builders out there, so you have to uh, be savvy to their needs and, and cater to them, and, and we do a good job of that. Um, and on the retail customers, I mean, they are more price conscious, but if you can establish a value of what we bring to the table versus our competition, all of a sudden maybe that small price differential doesn't matter, or if they find it somewhere else, they really don't want to buy it there, they want to buy it from us, they come back and say, well, can you work with us? And when they say that, you pretty much have them. I see. So the people that you're talking about, these are people that have worked with you for years and years, do you find, and they come, you know, they're repeat customers? Not necessarily. I mean, it's, it's the new customers, too. Uh, we have more Internet leads. We talked about that. We get a lot of Internet leads, and we follow up on those. And that's a big part of our business. You, you mentioned that, and it's huge. And you get those from your website? Yes. And you're not affiliated with anybody, or are you? No, we're not a buying group or anything else, no. Um, and you obviously, you consciously decided not to be. Talk about that decision. We thought we had the personnel um, to uh, do the things that these buying groups do for the other retailers. Um, we're, we think we're savvy enough to ask for uh, help with, you know, marketing, uh, other things that, you know, that, the buying groups ask for. Um, I think we're very competitive on how we purchase. We're very demanding. We expect things that uh, uh, our volume dictates, and uh, we're appreciative with our partners that work with us.